my Gemini, my guinea ain't Gemini, yeah, what's going on Gems, what's up twins, what's up babies, what's going on in the life of a twin between the 1st and the 15th of February, Is it new opportunities, perception, shift, self-worth, activations, true feelings of just do it like Nike type feelings happening right now? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey, boo. Hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, this is my disclaimer at the beginning. I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can resonate with you better. <laughs> when I'm cussing, because <laughs> I'm a cuss, all right? Uh, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight, we don't fuss. We a little dysfunctional over here, but we don't. We don't do that negative shit. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Over here, we cuss, but we love, we grow, we enlighten, we share, y'all. We evolve positive vibes only. This is simply a general. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. I'm currently only taking emergency readings up until February the 3rd, um, 2019, because technically, I'm still on break. Okay, so with that said, they will be same day readings. Okay, with with the maximum of a two hour damn wait, but get your reading in, guys. All right. Uh, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Gemini between the first and the fifteenth of February. You all, I love you very, very, very much, y'all. And without further ado, we gonna rock. We gonna go ahead and get into this Gemini love. All right, so we're gonna start off with your uh, with your Doreen Virtue uh, Crystal Angels Oracle message, and what you guys got was topaz. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys are getting them damn, getting that damn monkey off your back. You're working on expansion, all right? You're working on um, actually seeing the fruits of your labor, new things, new opportunities, new perceptions, um, actually having new mindsets about life just in general, just to, in order to really truly see what it is that you're trying to manifest, go right before your eyes, rapid manifestations, all right? So let's get it. What's going on with my twins in love between the 1st and the 15th of February? Whoa, hold on, baby. We're going to take that one back. I ain't like it. I'm going to take that one back. What's going on with my Gemini in love between the 1st and the 15th of February? What's going on with my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Gemini Spirit? What is your advice for February in love for my Gemini's? Oh, come on now. Somebody stop this mess. Stop this mess. Gemini's, I feel like y'all been shuffling, trying to get it together, but it's always some dumb shit. All right? So, Spirit, what messages do you have in love for my Gemini's? What can they expect during this time? All right? Going through it. Ending cycles to start anew, okay? So I definitely feel like that was that 10 of ones. I feel like some of you guys could definitely be, um, actually, some of you guys who are pregnant, congratulations, baby. That's what that expansion is all about. Mocha love the kids. Some of y'all could actually be ending um, ending relationships or starting or going into new cycles, possibly with Scorpio, Taurus, um, Aquarius, as well as Leo. I feel like, yeah. For some of you all, you've been overthinking something. Something, some, some of y'all, your thoughts are truly manifesting extremely fast. And for some of you all, it has to do with actually working on some uh, some form of a partnership, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like this is someone who you possibly could be married to or have some type of um, commitment to. I feel that for some of you all, you're really moving into a new cycle of your life that you really manifested, possibly with the water sign. Okay, funny. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you guys definitely have new love. You're on the brink of new love that is going to require that work and that energy okay and i feel like for some of you all you've been focused on you know what focused on the negative about it because i'm seeing for some of you all it's going to require for you to put these damn burdens down by you actually cutting someone away moving past what happened in the past what happened you know shifting your perception on why people do the things that they do all right and i feel like for some of you all you're kind of being placed in in particular circumstances during this time that is assisting you in moving forward, okay? For some of you all, you have new opportunities and love that's going to require you to travel during this time, and you're going to have to make a decision on the things in, in your life in which you're willing to sacrifice. And for some of you all, it's actually walking away from an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, to move towards a water sign, wish fulfillment, towards new projects, to uh, new goals, okay? Or for some of you all, it's also dropping the damn burdens surrounding a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
Cancer, right? I feel that someone is coming in. Um, someone's coming in to see y'all. Gemini, some of y'all could actually be waiting on someone to come towards you or travel. And I feel like for those of you who have been having dreams of this, you literally been manifesting that action coming forward fast and furious because you've been stuck in the thoughts of what could happen if this shit actually take place. And I feel that it's going to require you, but I feel like for some of you all, it's how you're looking at it. If you shift your damn perspective to the point of this is my damn get out of jail free card. I didn't know how the fuck to do it. So the universe is allowing that little the universe is kind of interceding, inter intercepting things and just kind of stepping in like, hey, I got this. This ain't your part. Sit down over there and just really, really focus on what it is that you're trying to do. Focus on what it is that you're trying to see. Because for some of you all, it's, 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 it's encouraging you to really, really have strength, be courageous and push through and not live in that place of fear. Remove the mask of the illusion right now. Get the fuck out of your head and really focus on what it is that you truly want. Okay. For some of you all, it's, it's, it's for some of y'all, this could actually have to do with a Leo person. Okay. For some of you all, uh, it's requiring for you. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody. You can't really move forward in love the way that you want to and put in the uh, the work can't really truly grow because somebody is a damn victim, okay? Do you stay with the victim or do you move away from the victim and give your energy to somebody who's willing to give you that same damn effort, okay? Period. Some of y'all are truly in love with victimized people. And I feel that you have tried to grow, you have tried to compromise, you have tried to make things work, but it is time, Gemini, for some of you all to truly find that balance within your life and find that balance within yourself. You guys really need to trust your dreams and stop resisting shit. For those of you who um, possibly have some type of commitment or is committed to someone, some of y'all have been doing some little sneaky deceptive shit, or this has been your partner doing this to you, okay? Uh, Gemini, but I do see it with it being air. I feel like this is more your energy. Some of y'all have been kind of sneaking around some type of commitment to truly have your damn nine of cups, to truly, truly focus on what it is that you want, manifest what it is that you want in your world. But now it's time for you to do that in the, in, in the, in the physical here. Some of y'all are astro projecting and truly living a whole different damn life with somebody in the 5D. I got to say it like that. And for some of you all, it's really causing conflict within because you know that you're having to make a decision going forward and actually choosing the person who you want to be with and just really Xing out your views as far as tradition and things of that nature, baby, because it's not really fucking working for you. How's that working for you, Gemini? For real, for real. Some of y'all are fucking done putting the work in, trying to make things uh, flourish, possibly with the tourist person who could be connected with the water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but I feel like whomever this is, this Taurus could have been very, very, very deceptive. I feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with this person for eight weeks, eight months, okay? Or for some of y'all, it's five weeks, five months. And some of y'all could actually be pregnant by this person, but I feel like it's going to require, it's going to cause an uproar in their life or in yours that's going to force you to move forward. And it's moving you towards the path that you're, that's destined for you. That is your birthright, okay? For some of you, it definitely has to do with soul contracts. But for some of you all, you're being indecisive about a person who is really making you an option, not a priority. And it's time for you to stand the fuck up and really set clear fucking boundaries. Let this person know, I'm not with the shits. I will cut your ass with this knife fast and you can blink your fucking eye. I'm not the one. I'm not the one, okay? And I damn sure ain't going to be the two waiting on you, all right? I'm going to focus on what it is that I want, knowing that the universe, God's spirit, my God, my divine my, my, my divine angels are going to provide me that because I have done the work, all right? For some of you all, again, it has to do with past life. Your decisions that you made in the past life affecting this life as well, which is what's causing your soul so much chaos because you know if it don't feel right, Gemini, chances are the shit ain't right, all right? And no matter how much you try and paint a pretty picture to make it right, this shit ain't going to be right. You're going to have to cut somebody off and walk away from someone in order to truly live your best life. Period. Somebody is not really, really, really aligning with your energy. And no matter how much you try to make that damn shoe fit, you can't make the shoe fit, baby. And I feel like for some of you all, and your thank you spirit, it has to do with transformation. Some of y'all could literally be walking away or resurrecting a situation that was once dead. I feel like for some of y'all, somebody could have hurt you some time ago. Or maybe you chose to walk away from someone who you truly love due to the fact that there was some type of financial issue. This could be someone who you had a child with, but you you, you chose to move away from that person and focus on finances and, and focus on building with somebody who really didn't really match your motherfucking chi. I feel like the balance with Gemini is like this here and the fact that you guys bring the duality to the table, it's like, what is worth my fucking efforts? 
because I've done this shit. I've been doing this shit. It's not working for me. In fact, it's driving me utterly insane. Some of y'all are committed possibly to an earth sign and you want to be with a Leo. You truly, and you in this time, it ain't got to the nitty gritty where you have to make this decision. All right. And during this time, catalytic situations are going to be occurring for you to make that decision. Some of y'all could be dealing with legalities or some type of like issues with the law I'm seeing. Why is the world here? Let's clarify. Why is the world here? For the sign of Gemini. Why is the world here? Yeah. For some of you all, the reason why your fucking finances are stagnant is because you needed to do something different. It's time to expand. Don't be worried about, okay, well, if I do this, I could take this loss. But what if you take a big ass W? What if you win in the area that, that can prevent you from taking that loss, but you'll never know if you never move? Time to make some moves happen, baby. Make some shape. Why is the strength card here? Yeah. Some of y'all are having strength. In situations where you constantly put in effort by your damn self. I feel that some of y'all have set clear boundaries. Some of y'all have told a person what the hell you will and will not deal with. Yet, though you are changing and compromising, you know, and trying to make that dual, the dualistic relation, the duality sector of the relationship make sense. I feel that some of y'all are really seeing it for what it is. I'm doing this by myself and it's driving me bananas. And I'm no longer wanting to carry all this damn weight. It's heavy. Why is the hierophant here? Okay. Yeah. For some of you all, having a third party situation and resisting that damn change. Resisting actually having to leave somebody out in the cold and actually be, actually accept the new offer of love, okay? That is going to bring you this independence, going to bring you this sense of freedom, okay? That you guys have literally been wanting to move in for quite some time. Some of y'all, it's new opportunities that is going to really bring you abundance if you choose to move toward them and not live in this place of fear. Not living in this place of fear. Why is the ten of uh, ten, ten of wands here with the damn six of uh with the six of swords? Yeah, yeah, Gemini. You guys are really needing to speak your peace. It is going to open the door not only to abundance but open the door to happiness and fulfillment and your desires, which is love for a lot of you all because some of you all I'm actually seeing is financially it is it, is independent. But what you really wanted to manifest is true, loyal, loyal, compromising, understanding, aligning love. Aligning love. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who could be a high priestess or a high priestess person intuitively already knows that you want to make a move. This person has possibly already dreamt of you actually leaving or uh, moving away due to some type of financial opportunity or some doors opening. And I feel like if this person is starting to put in work, I feel like the mask, or the mask is really coming off. You're going to see the fear around this person. And just really listen to what they say during this time. Truly listen to what they say. Yeah, because for some of you all, you feel like you need a person. But ultimately, you're independent by your damn self. You don't need not a soul. You don't need nobody but yourself and God. Let me say it louder for the people in the back. Get out your damn head and make the decision, Gemini, because it, and the decision revolves moving away, involves moving away. You don't need anybody but yourself and God. Get out of your head on your feet and get to running. Put your Nikes on and just run like hell. Don't look back because it only slows you down. Because you have new love, new opportunities, newness trying to flourish, but you in your damn head about what could go wrong and you need to focus on the things that can actually go right. Why is this Queen of Swords here with the Five of Swords? Some of y'all are cutting off the damn air sign. I'm over the bullshit. I'm done with it. This could also have to do with a fire sign. But I feel like you're really needing to move on and truly forgive this person in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit so that your body can actually make that damn move that follows the movement and which is already aligned up with you already have left the building emotionally. Now it's time to leave physically. Period. Some of y'all are moving away from financial issues. Some of y'all are moving away from indecisive people. Some of you guys are literally the catalyst to someone else's situation. The catalyst to someone else actually moving away from a karmic, a karmic partner or a karmic situation. So that because this person is actually your soulmate. This is who you're destined to be with. Why is this death card here, huh? 
The death card is here because for some of you all, you're resisting change having to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that wants to have that equal give and take with you at this point. But I feel like somebody wants to live in the past of, well, when I gave you this chance in the past, this is what you did. When I gave you this in the past, some of y'all, you're walking away from an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, because you're not fucking getting the investment that you're putting into that. If it don't make dollars, it damn sure don't make sense. And Gemini's, y'all are more logical, but you're really needing to feel your way through this situation. Truly, truly, truly feel because some of you all are spiritual teachers and you're having to go through this and experience this because ultimately it's going to bring you into your seat of power. It's going to bring you into your seat of destiny, into your faded actual, your faded purpose here. For some of y'all, it definitely involves dealing with children. For some of you all, it definitely involves dealing with holistics and um natural uh, herbs. Some of y'all are teachers of crystals as well as healing abilities as well as teaching people how to hone their spiritual gifts. I feel like this is definitely going to bring you stability. It's definitely going to bring you solid commitment. It's definitely going to bring you fulfillment, your ultimate desires, but you really having to make a choice to get that damn monkey off your back and know that you will be okay. You will be okay. Not only will you be okay, but you will have new love. New love and ability to sit it on that you created sit at the table that you made and the motherfuckers who sit there and eat at your table is people who you're actually wanting to be at your damn table take off the mask gemini take it off truly 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 value your self-worth stay open to new love travel is inevitable for some of you all some of you guys who've been wanting to move to a different state now is the time the time is now it's been beating you up in your damn dreams because the time is now all right i do see you guys definitely moving away from earth signs if they don't get their shit together if your ass can't get right you can get left real quick and i'm gonna move on over here to this water and this fire that ultimately ultimately fulfills me i feel like those of you who are dealing with air signs they're very 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 indecisive and you kind of know where you want to go so you're just not with the shit i'm gonna have to push through and leave you behind because i know why i want to go and when you fucking catch up with my when your fucking actions can catch up with my thoughts and my actions can we possibly make some shake if it's not too late and I ain't already ran into my Ace of Cups in this Cancer Pisces Scorpio in which I'm supposed to be? I'm going to stop resisting this damn change and really embrace it because it's going to move me towards still waters. For those of you who are dealing with fire signs, I feel like somebody has to get out of this victimized as mentality and truly learn from where y'all have been. And someone else has to be optimistic and not stand a negative of what this person did in the past that's preventing you guys from moving forward. And this person's and allowing someone to see that this person's actions definitely speaks louder than their words. If you're dealing with water, this person loves you, but they are not going to be second to the shit that you got to walk away from. They know their self-worth. They know their self-value. They're not having it. Ultimate outcomes, I do see Gemini's moving away from this internal conflict, away from this damn beating of myself. Well, what about that person? That's not your part. That's God's job. Some of y'all have to understand and accept that sometimes we are the catalyst to individuals' growth. Somebody had to do it to you, so why can't that be a part of your purpose and your journey on the midst of you moving forward and understand and accept and embrace love, true love, true fulfillment, true your true on, honest desires, not this fucking act that you've been putting on for quite some time. Spirit says no more. That must end. So you're going to do it voluntarily or it's involuntarily happening. To, it's it's going to involuntarily come in and just shake shit up to move people, places, and things where they're supposed to be. Okay? So just be receptive because it's all happening for you, not to you. And I see beautiful shit. I see stability. I see happiness. I see fulfillment. I see life purposes. I see people on the right path after leaving this leaving this illusion of conflict and confusion. If, if, if there's any sense of confusion, it's like your soul already knows where it's supposed to be. But that damn mind of yours running a thousand miles per hour. And it's just like you're really needing to sit back, sit still, really take that time to R&R, &R, rest and rejuvenate, and truly make clear-cut decisions. All shots, no chases. Okay? So this is what I have for my babies. I send you nothing but love, many blessings, much prosperity, y'all, and so much success on all of your endeavors moving forward. Get out of this place of fear. You got this, baby. If you need that personal reading, that information is within the description. I love y'all. Bye, gems. Namaste.